name is Pamela Dawn, author of the Endangered Earthlings Handbook, and I live in some of the craziest places in the U.S. demonstrating sustainable living. Climate change, species extinction, contaminated waters, we are all endangered earthlings, and I'm here to show you how to survive. JC TV Network on Roku. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 4 of The Endangered Earthling, All Things Water, this episode. Um, we're not including a comedy sketch this time. I had every intention to include our production meeting in the front of this um, episode because we covered some really vital issues with regard to water and the environment. And um, it ended up running too long, so you can watch that production meeting regarding environmental topics and water on the Endangered Earthlings, Inc. YouTube channel. But right after the production meeting was my birthday party, so I did include some of that silliness um, in the beginning of this episode. So thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoy, and see you in a few minutes. So, since it's it's time. I think it's time. Is now. it time for your birthday party? <laughs> Look at that. Bringing high fashion to the wilderness. <laughs> I scared the dog. I scared the dog. Look at what I brought. Look at it. I'm ready. Lunch. Lunch. Happy birthday. You're my love. I love you so much, pal. I love you too. There is no future to run. There is no past. All of your memories are lost in the past. All I know is that we're gone. Everything. I love you. I love you too. Happy, happy birthday. Many, many, many more. Love you, love you to death. My sister from another mister. Yes. I love you, baby. Good night. Love you Thank too. You Good night. Perfect. It was Honey, perfect. Anytime, okay? I'll do more research on the water thing too. So. Yay. Okay. Okay. I want to do more party. I love you. Okay, love you. Too. Bye. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to the glorious Mogion Rim, where the landlords are bats and frogs throw all the best raves. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the, in the wilderness. Yes, my hair is actually ramen noodles. Who knew? It's what happens when you wash your hair in rainwater and don't have a blow dryer. And, and I know people tell me, oh my god, your hair looks so great when it's curly. Sleep on it for one night and it's a matted nest. And so that's why I blow dry it straight. But I didn't bring it, look, see? 
It's a knot already. I didn't bring you here to talk about my hair or even that amazing gloriousness. Let's talk about water. It's a common topic because it's the essence of life. And if you run out and don't have any for three days, literally you're dead. So rainwater, collect some rainwater, get a three to 500 gallon storage tank and have that emergency tank clean and ready to use at all times because ask anyone in Texas, it can happen to you. So for me, today my chore is refilling my water tank with rainwater that I collected. It's a miracle. All right, so let's go fill my water tank. Okay, so just a refresher, this is my rainwater collection and large surface area because that's an expanded survival poncho. I keep a flat rock sideways in that that sets it down into the collection pot, which is five gallons and that is full. Yay! So what I do is I transfer that five gallons with a funnel into a five gallon storage thingy bottle, um, you know, the thing, jug. Yes. So these guys are already full, thankfully, and they're holding up my solar panels. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back inside and get the keys because I forgot them. And, um, and then I'm going to refill this port over here. See how high that is off the ground. That's, it's really fun to do. Actually, it's great because it forces me to do an upper body workout. Uh-oh, she got into the bees. They are swarming right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but they seem to be obsessed with my pants from yesterday. I'm really hoping that they are not killer bees on the loose. Dudes, why? Weird. Okay, so uh, here I go back in to get the keys to open the port to put the thing with the water and the jug and dump and the lift and the... See you in a minute. There we go. That is the sound of life going in there, baby. So, uh, so what's going on in your world? Yeah, yeah, me too. There she blows. I got water. So um, now I'm going to go get that five gallon bucket that's full and refill this guy and just keep that cycle going. So yay, happy water day.
Three quarters of life is being adaptable and this life most especially. Um, got a situation I had not anticipated in that the rig is slowly sinking into the flooded terrain. So um, all the way up almost to the grill, past the mud flaps. So mama got some digging to do. I've already dug quite a few trenches just to keep the region flowing. But now I gotta dig trenches away from the rig. Figure that out. So that's my today. Good news, my hair is rainwater fresh. Bad news, I trenched it off as much as I could. Three different veins and uh, it's just not bleeding enough. We're still sinking in the front. So that's going to be an issue. Okay, I'm yelling because it's in the waterproof, semi-waterproof. Can you hear me? We've got some pretty decent little aqueducts running here. All right, so barring the massive monsoons that just dump like instant rivers and lakes, hopefully it will be dry in a in a couple of weeks, they can start digging it out. I hope you enjoyed that episode of The Endangered Earthling and join us next week on DJC TV Thursdays and uh, see what other shenanigans befall me or I befall them without falling, hopefully. See you next week. <laughs>